Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. In this video we are going to talk about the error number 1046 no database selected. So I'm getting this error uh, when I'm using my SQL database and I'm trying to create a table. So this is the SQL statement. Uh this is the statement i'm trying to run this uh but i'm getting this error so what i've done is uh before running this i've logged into uh this php admin using the credentials so everything seems fine but when i run this uh, i'm getting this error so when i searched about this so i found out like uh so this table has to be created under some database and so as you can read from the error message it says no database selected so we need to select a database so first thing we need to do is to see how many databases are there okay so I'm just removing this from here just going to show the databases using this statement uh so on the right side also you can see there are two databases the information schema and then this sql and this number so i'm going to create a table so i have to use any one of this so i'm going to use the second one so if you want to switch to any of the existing databases uh you have to use this command use and then the database name okay so okay and it works and now let me try to create a table again with the same script with the same statement uh so now i am in the database sql and this random number okay so again i'm getting the same okay so maybe it is not using the uh database name which i've given it earlier so let me add it here directly yeah so when i give the database name just in front of the table name this is working fine okay and the table is created so let's try to view the table which we have created right now i think i missed to remove this okay uh, as you can see the table is created and it shows the details uh right now there are no records but yeah still we can see that the table with the exact number of columns okay so that's all for this video thank you guys for watching do let me know in the comment section if you are facing some other issue in mysql bye for now